light either. Oh, well, it's got a little weight to it. That's but you know what? How did it get Oh, I don't. I haven't seen it since I got it. It's probably disgusting. <laughs> little kids sticky fingers all over that. You might want to pure out yourself after. It's got pear. Exactly. Beautiful. Look at that. Is that weird going on the trampoline wearing that? I was just holding it. Never let it freestyle it yeah. up my neck or anything. You might knock some teeth there. We've done that before. It's not fun. Is that beautiful? That's the front. The other side is the back. It's on the front there. <laughs> no. Would you mind putting that on? Take a picture of me with it? Or? Uh, you can put it on for a No, thanks. No. I, didn't, I didn't earn it. Oh, I am so doing that. I didn't spend 10,000 hours jumping to get that. That's the closest I'll get to the Olympics. That's beautiful. Congratulations. Thank you very much. So when you started at Jane? I started at a place called Airborne Trampoline, and now I train at a club called Skyriders here in Richmond So Hill. you're still practicing now in yeah. Richmond Hill? Yeah, yeah. Richmond Hill. Full-time athlete still. I train with my coach Dave Ross, my teammate Rose McLennan. Uh, you guys might be familiar with that. She's our only gold medalist for the mm -hmm. yeah. Games. Mm -hmm. We grew up together pretty much. Like she was two years younger than me, and we started you know, one year after each other. So we've known each other since, since we were nine to ten years old. Mm, that's great. That's really good. Oh, yeah. Lifelong friendship, and you know, we both had great success. Around the world, and we've had a lot of very cool experiences together. So, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. just because you want on the on the rhythm. You guys want to hold it? Camera? Yeah, go ahead. Find it for yourself. I might want to leave it. You're not going to get very far. <laughs> <laughs> so, you want to play that game? Yeah. <laughs> they go to that line, they jump, and they go on. Yes. Oh, Try them Oh, you're not rushing so Yeah, he's going to take a picture of that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's a time release. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. You know what? Put your coat over because it's, 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 you can't see it against your white shirt, eh? It, just, it disappears, so. I organized I'm sure you want to see it. There you go. That worked better. Yeah. Okay. All right. Sure. Yeah. Oh. Well, you know what, Jason? You're an inspiration to the young people. You know, the young children like them. Yeah. Which is great. It gets them thinking, you know, hey, maybe I can try this. Maybe I can go and win a, a medal. These are the next generation, right? These are yeah. the next Olympians coming through the uh, coming through the system. Yes. So it's very exciting to get out and meet these guys, and hopefully they go far with whatever they choose. Mm -hmm. it's really good. It's very nice to meet you. Yeah. Back, uh, I won my silver medal in 2008 in the sport of trampoline. Uh, I had my entire family there in the crowd, but 12 members of them. It was an absolutely phenomenal experience, and really the one thing I wanted to do was just celebrate with my friends and family and uh, celebrate the accomplishment afterwards. And uh, what was the experience of being in Sochi like? Um, I wasn't in Sochi, I'm a summer athlete. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you got it that? Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Um, can we start off real quick? Yeah. Okay. So what was it like to uh, represent Canada on the podium? Uh, well, it's a very surreal experience to represent Canada on the podium. I won my silver medal in sport and trampoline in the 2008 Olympics uh, in Beijing, China. Uh, it's an amazing experience. You know, you're very proud. I had my entire family up in the crowd with me. Uh, Twelve family members all staring down, uh, just waiting to come celebrate with me afterwards. And um, what, are the, what are the athletes in Sochi right now going through based on your experiences in Beijing? Uh, it all, the athletes in Sochi, it all depends on where they are in their competition. Some people are done and they're feeling that great sense of relief because they've accomplished you know, a, lifetime, uh, a lifetime dream or a lifetime goal. Other athletes are just ramping up. I know some of them are competing today and some of them will compete over the next week and a half or so and they've got a lot of pressure on them they're doing everything they can to stay calm and focus on the goal at hand and um, just tell me what it takes to be an Olympic athlete and uh, to even to, to uh, reach the podium uh, to be an Olympic athlete, it takes years and years of dedication, and it takes no fear. You can't be scared of the pressure, of the skills you have to learn, of the hours you have to spend in the gym, of the pain and the potential broken bones and injuries that you may experience. Um, and you just have to be ready to face all of those things head on. And how long did you train? Uh, I've been training for about 17 years now, but I won my silver medal at the Olympic Games in 2008 after 11 years of training. Uh, I'm still a full-time athlete. I'm also a part-time student at U of T. So I've got my sights set on the 2015 Pan Am Games and the 2016 Olympics in Rio. Olympics, sorry, CBC Olympic Viewing Lounge. This is Jason Burnett. 
He's a Toronto native that has been on the trampoline since the age of 10. He is noted for having completed, in training, the world's most difficult trampoline routine with a degree of difficulty of 20.6 and holds the world record of 18.8 for a routine performed in competition. That's pretty major! So he has placed first in the Canadian National Championship seven times and in the 20, sorry, 2008 Olympic Games, he won a silver medal for Canada. And you have that medal here, right? Uh, right here in my pocket, yeah. Woo! So today, Jason is here. He's going to be signing autographs and posing for photos with you. If you're interested in having a little chat with him, you can line up just right over here. As well, he's going to do a few giveaways, and he's going to do the first one right now. Okay, you guys, are you ready? I have, uh, or we have, sorry, we have three Rock Posin Living Out My Dream CDs to give away. It's the official anthem of the 2014 Canadian Olympic team. So I'm going to ask an Olympic themed question, and the person who gets it right gets the CD. Sound good? Yeah. And yes, we'll do a, a hands up system here for whoever has the answer. So the question is. How many gold medals did Canada win in the 2010 Vancouver Winter Olympic Games? I saw first hand right here. How many gold medals? 14. 14 is correct. Yeah. Well, sir, well done. And I think we're going to do uh, some other Olympic questions a little bit later on for the other two CDs, but right now, stick around. Yes. Tina, let's call the Amherst. I love you guys. Thanks for letting us <laughs> <laughs> 